how to read a spark plug. If you look at this spark plug, it came out of a truck with 100,000 miles and we're gonna read it. Now let's go ahead and look at some normal spark plugs in other conditions so we could teach you guys how to read one. Well, first off, a normal plug looks like this. It has a little bit of brownish, a little bit of grayish, the insulator still looks white. Now, when you look at a spark plug, the white part is called an insulator and the part in the center is called the center electrode. And the little bridge you see is called the ground electrode. And the parts between it or the space between it is called the gap. Now, when we look at a dry and wet fouled spark plug, it is like it sounds. It's usually wet, it's coated with oil, or there's too much fuel or a combination of both. Or when it's dry fouled, it's usually just covered with like a brown or black like coating. You can't see the insulator, everything's coated, it's not good. Now, overheating is very distinct. The insulator looks like it's been cooked. Now, usually you'll find deposits sometimes, and that's because of oil leakage or fuel quality, or it's just been used for a long time. And then if your spark plug is yellow, that's because it's been fouled by lead, lead usually in gas. Now, when we look at our spark plug, after learning what we just talked about, we definitely see some deposits, and we also see a little bit evidence of some wet fouling. Of course, it's dry now, but if you look at the deposit, it's got a kind of like a blackish look to it, but everything else looks kind of normal, and this has about 100,000 miles. So it's a combination of probably different fuel types, deposits, and just being used for a long time, maybe overused, maybe these should have been replaced a while ago, but at least now we know how to read a spark plug.